All right, guys, so now I'm going. Oh! What's going on YouTube? Drake Talks coming at you live with another video. Now this one was supposed to be a how to pack and ship as a reseller video, um, but it didn't turn out to be that way and I will explain why. It shows just what you got to do, like the difficulties. In this video I end up uh, frank unboxing, which is what I call it, when you take a box, cut it up to make it fit something. I just got my wisdom teeth out um, four days ago. And I have not had a chance to like re up on my boxes or anything, so I'm really struggling. And I had to fit that shoe box you see on the right into a makeshift one, and you have to do that sometimes. So, this just shows the reality of a reseller. They say hard work pays off. I've been feeling paid off. Try to take it, then you did. Okay, so I just looked and it cost seven dollars and eighty eight cents to ship it in this box weighing a pound seven ounces Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a padded mailer um, That way it'll be seven dollars and only 55 cents. I know it's only 30 cents I love saving boxes because I know I'll need them for other things like this is a pretty big box It can fit like a very heavy product that won't be able to go in a flat mailer and I can get it unlimited flat mailer from the website on USPS.com boom instead of paying seven dollars and eighty eight cents we're gonna pay seven dollars and 55 cents in a flat mailer that's free from the website now is when i start to rig up a box first i use this one and it didn't work so i end up cutting up another one you'll see here i did very many attempts on it but i end up using another box as you'll see right here in like two seconds that looks a lot better all right guys so look at this box i made this is a scrap and this box is a fruit box that I cut at all four corners to make it down to fit this. And see, it doesn't go down all the way without this top. See that? There's still that showing. This. I'm just going to taper up. When you are rigging up a box like I am and cutting it up, you're going to want to make sure you tape it up very well. Sometimes they go all the way around. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. Whatever. It is what it is. All right, guys. So now I'm going. Oh. So now I'm going downstairs to get my labels. So what we're going to do is start making our labels. We're going to do that. So for now, I'm just using a printer. A lot of people use a Dymo thermal printer or something like it. And that prints it and makes it uh, a sticker all in one. Whereas you see here, I'm cutting paper and I'm going to tape it on. Do that, repeat it and do it for everything. Tape them on. Um, if you have a Dymo, that'll be a lot easier. Once you start getting the hang of things, it's going to be a lot easier. You see I'm flying here pretty fast. You just cut them all, tape them all, and it works good. And so that's it. I mean, could be a lot more efficient, but I had to mess around with that box, and now I'm going to go ship these off. Uh, this video can turn out to be a wreck, but it is what it is. I'm liking having this new gimbal. Now we can just do this kind of stuff. Just phew. But anyways, yeah, hope this helps. Um, basically, just uh, if you don't box, just rig one up and it'll be better.